What's up guys? Beagle of Bass Fishing again here. Let me check out my fire. My fire is looking a little weak. Gotta fix her up or let me fix her up on right. Sure, then my butt crack about been over over there. All right, so uh, once again, if it's your first time watching Beagler Outdoors. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe, greatly appreciate it. It helps our algorithm. When you hit the like button, it helps put us in the algorithm where all the gun owners can see all the gun things and the great things going on with our Second Amendment and how you know our freedoms allow us to have such great things. Um, it's just it's a good thing with everything going on in the world, as in sarcastically because I'm joking. It's a bunch of crap. I'm not a political channel. Once again but we get to have our rights. So today what we're talking about is click belts, okay? When I carry, if you see my videos, you'll see it up here, I carry FN 509, it should be a video up here. Um, and I use the tier one concealment Kydex holster. Uh, I should have another video up here. Links to that stuff in the bottom. If I forget to put the links, email me. But when you carry a gun, all right, especially if you're carrying a full size, this is what I carry. This is an FN509, okay? Yes, it does have ammo in it, but no, it's not in the pipe for all the snowflakes, all right? Um, this is what I carry. There's a whole bunch of videos on the gun itself. All right, I, I have a video. The link will be there for the video. You can watch that, it'll pop up. There'll be a link in the bottom. There's a link for the holster. You can see all that stuff. But to carry something like this, you need a really good belt. Now, you can use a leather belt. Leather belts are really awesome. Um, but the thing is that you can't get the micro adjustment. You know, you have the holes and you're either gonna go a little too tight or you're gonna go a little bit too loose. And when you sit down, you can't adjust it. So what I use is, I use, oh, I got the wind blowing today. I use an Apex, not an Apex. Apex is my gun. Uh, click belts, K-L-I-K, belts.com. Um, I use a click belt, which I'll show you mine. Okay, this is a click belt, and I'll try to zoom in. All right, has a cobra buckle, and you can micro adjust or take it out. And it's made of, uh, it's a dual ply, two, two inch dual ply nylon belt, okay? It's one and a half inch. And the thing about these is, you know, I know I got a belly, I'm a fat guy, whatever. Uh, put your gun in there, and it's kind of made of like seat belt material. Okay, and as you can see, it holds the gun good. It isn't going nowhere, okay? And you can tighten it up, okay? You don't gotta pull nothing, and if you go to sit down, you just micro adjust it out, so when you sit down, okay? And the belt is really sturdy, I'll take it off and show it to you, but that's pretty much how I carry. This is a click belt, uh, Cobra, Cobra click belt, two ply, one and a half inch, okay? Now, a lot of people, what they do is, um, since my gun fits here, I like it, but it, it's two ply, but it's one ply here with this, so a lot of people will slide it over and keep it here and pull it tight here so you have the full two ply on your belt. But what I'll do is I'll take it off right now, sit down and show it to you guys. Okay, I got some likes and dislikes about it. We'll get into that now. All right, like I said, and like I always say, I'm not sponsored by nobody. So if I don't like it, <laughs> I'll tell you, because I don't care, because I didn't get it for free. If I like it, I'll tell you. Not because they paid me to, but I bought it and I like it. Okay, so we'll start off first with the actual buckle, okay? The buckle itself, all right, is made of aerospace aluminum alloy, okay? It is the Cobra. All right, here's the Cobra system, which everybody uses on good belts, okay? There it is right there, all right? And it has, you need, to take this belt off, you need to use two fingers to pull it off, right? So it's never gonna fall off on mistake. One finger ain't gonna get it off, you have to have two. So when you have the belt on, which is this way, right? You have to take two fingers to take it off, okay? And I mean, it is rock solid, okay? Now, this right here is two ply, 
all right? It's basically the same stuff a seatbelt's made out of, honestly, okay? But it's two ply, all right? And it goes down to one ply, fully adjustable. One thing I wanna tell you about these belts, my waist is a 38, okay? Go the next size up when you buy these belts. Some belts, they say on their website, the size of your pants size. I'm telling you my experience. My waist is a 38. Sometimes I'm a 36 depending on the pants, but I'll say a 38. I went with a 40, okay? And my belt, when I tighten it up, it sits about right there, so I have room for losing weight, okay? Um, this belt itself, if you go to clickbelts.com for the uh, half inch two ply tactical belt, this belt ran me, it's $79 at Click, at click Belts, but uh, there'll be a link for the Click Belts. If you want to go to Amazon, you can buy it. It's, it's weird because it's $79 from ClickBelts.com, but Click Belts has an Amazon store and it says sold by Click Belts. You can get the same belt for $69. Go figure. I went and bought it on Amazon. I'll put a picture of it here and I'll put a link below of the Amazon link. I paid $69 for it. Um, and I like it. Now, it is kind of hard to put on because when you put the belt on, you literally have to take this off and you have to put it like this because it's this does not fit through a regular size belt loop. So you gotta take it off and I'll show you pretty much. All right, so you have the belt like this. Once you take it off, you have to slide your belt in. It's like any other regular belt. But the problem is, you'll see. All right, you put your belt on. All right, get it around. It's like every other normal belt. All right, then you have to put your little retainer on, which holds your stuff in place, all right? So you, all right? Then you wanna put your buckle on. So you gotta do that every single time because you can't, it doesn't fit through. You have to disassemble your belt, but then it's simple. Click, micro adjust, micro adjust. Now just say if you got a crap real fast, take it off, back on, okay? Tight, the good thing about it is this, when, you, when, you, when you have your gun up, you can pull it tight to keep your gun close to you, okay? Then when you sit down, you can just take it, loosen it, you can put your gun and you can sit down, okay? So, um, and when you take it off, you gotta take that off, take that off, then take it off, all right? Then, so you don't lose the stuff, you gotta put it back on again. Of course, that's the only thing I don't like about the belt. But, and then I put my belt like that, and I hang it up. They do make a one and a half inch version. I don't know if it has a smaller a smaller Cobra buckle, because if they had a smaller Cobra buckle, believe it or not, you'd be able to get it through your pant loops, which would be cool, because then you could just take your belt like this and you could run it through your pant loops and have to disassemble the whole thing. That's the only thing I find annoying, but I'll be honest, you know my honest opinion on, on these tactical belts? A leather belt does exactly the same. One day I didn't have I forgot to take my click belt. I took my leather belt. It holds my gun up just the same, but you don't have the micro adjustments, okay? You go into a restaurant, you wanna sit down, you have to literally take it, find a lot of people gonna see your gun. This right here, you can reach like right through your shirt and you can just loosen it up a little bit. And when you loosen it up a bit, you can sit down in the restaurant and then when you stand back up, you just tighten it back up. So a leather belt will hold the same, but it won't give you the options as of sitting down real quick, getting in your truck real fast. You don't, you have to find, you know, and then if you don't find the exact hole, you're either too tight and you're in a restaurant like uh, uh, with this holster, you know, a holster poking in your friggin' stomach, you know. So you wanna make sure you, 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 you wanna get one of these belts. It's good to have one. You can use a leather belt. I'll tell you, I've used a leather belt. I didn't wanna spend 70 bucks on a click belt, okay? But when I got the click belt, I was like, man, yeah, this is what you need. If you're sitting down, up and down a lot, you definitely need one, all right? So now, 
you want to make sure this one here is the half inch you want to at least get a half inch uh, one and a half inch I'm sorry one and a half inch they have a one inch at why would you want a one seat belt wrapped around you in your truck I mean why um, and it has the, this is the quick release you know real quick and you need two hands so you're never gonna go on mistake and hit this and your pants are gonna fall down and it has you know the aerospace aluminum alloy Cobra which is like all the all the good click belts you find online well click belts is this brand all of the good tactical belts you find online they will have one that looks like a Cobra okay but if it does not say Cobra on it it is a knockoff okay this right here says Cobra all right it says Cobra on it this is the standard this is the best lock you can get You'll see people wearing these click belts. Yeah, I paid $7, $8. It's garbage. Trust me. I see people with some. They fall off. They don't click right. They're just You want to make sure. There are a lot of other companies that make click belts. Well, I'm, I just have to stop using the word click belts. Click belts is this company. There's other companies that make tactical belts. Okay? And they use the Cobra. So you find different companies. Uh, I'll, be, I'll tell you right now. Price-wise, these things go up to $200. Click belts is the best price you can find for the real Cobra, real good belt. And you're like $69 on Amazon. I've searched them. There were some that were $180. There were some that were $90. And $69 from Amazon. And you're getting it from Click belts. It doesn't make no sense how if Amazon you pay $69 from Click belts. And from Click belts you pay $79. Explain that to me. But I'll, right now, what I carry all the time is, you know, I always have, I always carry full a full-size gun pistol FN 509 and I wear this belt you could wear that belt with a bathing suit because I used to like carry a light gun like if just say if I was fishing in Miami you know we're going for peacocks and I'm fishing down here I'll put a video up there peacock bass fishing um, you know you got a bathing suit on man and you can't carry a gun because it's like you don't wear a belt with a bathing suit <laughs> you, know, you don't most bathing suits don't have loops and if they do, you, you don't, you want it. So I used to just carry, you know, a little gun like this, pop in your bathing suit pocket, you don't even know you have it, okay? Carry this now, I wrap this around me and I can carry a full gun, which I probably would still carry something this small if I was still going to Miami because I could just throw it in my pocket, fish, and not worry. And honestly, if, if I get this $400 gun wet, I'd be pissed off if I got this $2,000 gun wet. Different video, whatever. But like I said, clickbelts.com this is to me I can't say it's the best I haven't tried them all over a leather belt price wise on my research this was the best belt for me one and a half inch definitely want to go one and a half inch it's, 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 there's no option to that they do make a two inch too which is thicker but some pants you can't fit it through you have a real hard time um, but one and a half inch two ply okay with the quick release Cobra I'm telling you, it's the way to go. So I hope this review helped you guys out for figuring what kind of tactical belt you want to um, get when you carry your gun. Um, if there's any questions, feel free to email me, beaglerbassfishing at gmail.com, or you can comment in the bottom. Any questions, I will have links uh, in the bottom to click belts. There should have been pictures throughout the video, and some links might pop up here and there and show you how to find stuff. Uh, hopefully this helped you out a lot. Uh, any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to smash that like button. It does help us out a lot. Uh, and like and subscribe. Um, right now, you know, we, we started off as a fishing channel, but now we're pretty much more outdoors. It's hunting season now, so we did some hunting videos and stuff like that. If you look through my videos, you'll see night vision hunting and AR video. I mean, we're, we're getting some videos going up now. Um, but right now is about the time, especially in this world, you want to you know, know what guns and options you have and the best things to protect yourself. Um, once again, thank you for watching, like and subscribe, Beagle of Bass Fishing, out.